back to my channel i feel like it's been forever since i've seen you guys so we're just gonna get straight back into it so what i'm doing is i'm concealing my eyes i do this for every video i use the la girl pro concealer in toffee to make sure that everything is nice and concealed and then after i'm done with that i usually go in with my ben nye banana powder to make sure that all of that is nice and set to perfection Okay, I'm pretty sure that I've featured this palette in literally like 10 of my videos. I don't even have that many, but um, I've featured this palette because I really love the transition colors. And um, the first shade I went in with is Brownie Points, and I just used that on my outer corners. And then um, once I was done with that, I used the darker brown. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I do have a heart on it. And I use this on my darker actually no my outer V there we go and I use this to kind of blend it all out because I want it to look hella flaky hella good just that so I went in with this really kind of sheer pink color in my 35T palette um, I rarely use this palette I don't even know why I have it sometimes but hey this pink shade really worked and I honestly fell in love with it now I just kind of played it back so you can see that the crease is kind of cut just a little bit but nothing too much Once I was done with that, I went ahead with this bigger blending brush and then blended the two colors together because you want to make sure that your eyeshadow doesn't look um, plotchy. Now, I don't know the name of this eyeliner. I've had it for forever and honestly, it's my favorite. I get it from my local beauty supply store, but um, the packaging is pretty cheap, so like the, the name of it has actually come off, but this is by far my favorite eyeliner and I just love to flake it. I said I was going to do a separate tutorial, but... This one was kind of good enough, so I was just like, I might as well just put it up. Now, I kind of skipped the whole preparation of skin because I feel like I've seen that enough. So I already primed my skin and everything, and I used the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color Cappuccino. This is kind of darker than me, but once I highlight and contour, everything kind of ends up being the same color as my neck. Okay, so this is literally my favorite part. You, I mean, it literally takes my makeup from, oh, you're kind of cute, to like, damn, you was bomb. So, um, I like to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee because it makes my highlight look very nice and strong. And then I blend that out with my Real Techniques Booty Blender. If you call it a beauty blender, what are you doing? I just, I just want to know because, I mean, I just want to know. Blend, blend, blend to the gods, blend to your mom, blend to your dad, blend to your stepfather, blend to your brother, blend to your boyfriend, I don't care, but blend to the gods. Now I go back in with a second highlighter because I want my highlight to look extremely poppin'. So I use the LA Girl Warm Honey and I just put that right underneath my eyes, nothing too bold, nothing too subtle because we gotta keep it a little classy, you feel me? Cheeks be gone. Now we're gonna go in with that black radiance concealer stick and just go over that whole dome head and everything that's just making me not look as cheek-like as I want. I wanna look like Squidward after he was hit by SpongeBob, you feel me? So I went ahead and blended that all out to make sure I looked like perfection. Blending, once again, blend to the gods. If you're not blending to the gods, please tell me what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Sucking them cheeks. Now going in with my LA Girl Toast Concealer. I use this to go ahead and clean up that contour. I make sure that my contour is clean so I can look a lot more chiseled. You don't want it to look like a line, so you want to go and make sure that you blend it out. Once again, blend to the what? Blend to the gods. And I blended this to perfection to make sure that it looked nice and cute and popping. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my contour. I got this new brush from e.l.f. It was like two or three dollars. Honestly, 
it's the bomb.com and I use this to kind of make my contour look a bit sharper and it just has really great precision I feel like if you're a beginner this brush is definitely for you Now in order to set my face, I told y'all that I stopped baking because it just made me look ugly and ashy. So I just went in with this little brush and kind of put it straight underneath my eyes because I don't want it to crease. And then um, put it kind of around my nose, just like any place that I usually crease. Now time for me to set my whole face. Usually I don't use this powder, but um, recently mine, uh, it tragically fell. So I use this Fit Me Coconut Powder all over my face to set everything to make sure I am one color because we are not about to look like 50 shades of black. Now going in with my Morphe 35K palette, I use this just to highlight my inner corner so I can look, you know, like an angel. So when I open my eyes, it's just like, wow, you know, angel, angel, angel. Then I went in with that brown shade again from my Violet Foss palette and just put this right underneath my waterline. If that's what it's called. If it's not, then um, you see what it is and um, hopefully you know what it is so I know what it is. Okay, now going in with my Fantastic, I like to look like a glazed donut every single day. Like, if it's not a glazed donut or a glazed mama or a glazed puff puff, then what am I doing with my life? I don't think I'm absolutely doing anything. So I'm highlighting, highlighting some more. Highlighting the tip of my nose because, you know, the tip tip got to look nice or whatever. And putting it straight on my lips because I want to look, you know, cute or whatever. Now going in with my favorite lip liner. This is the Nobby lip liner. I couldn't find a picture of it, so please bear with me. But I use this to line my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my liquid lipstick. And that's going to come up in like a couple of seconds, so I'm going to stop talking. Here we go, it is ColourPop Beeper. At first I really, really hated this color. My friend gave this to me because she hated it. So I was like, she, I'll just take it from here and try it on myself. And honestly, I fell in love with it when I started using a brown lip liner with it. A brown lip liner just really changes any nude for any dark skinned girl and just makes it an absolute favorite. Now I highlighted my upper brow bone and basically this was the end of the whole entire look. Thank you guys for watching, love you. Make sure you subscribe.